Hey guys, welcome to Hegan Eruthil. So we are going to be in a discussion on basic team comps, early team comps. What I'm saying is it's it's going to be easier for you to put these together aside from specific um, heroes to be involved in specific teams. You can actually mix and match with these teams that I'm going to be discussing. Uh, first half of these teams would be for your PvE, um, your PvE content. Then the other half is going to be for PvP teams. These are just proposed teams. Just in case you reach PvP, they are going to be... More or less, I've tested them out in soft launch. And these teams are, you know, are what I used. And I'll tell you my favorites, basically. So, let's go to Formation... So, um, let's just clear the board here. Okay, first team is going to be 3 DPS and 1 buffer. This team is basically going to be... Let's, uh, let's construct this team for a moment. So, your DPS... Uh, you have to be down there. You have to be down there. And you have to be down there. And you have... Sorry, the other DPS is actually a front. Which is Eluya. And the other one would be a buffer. Um, preferably... Where's Sirslet? Ah, sorry, it's not Sirslet. Where's uh, Screamer? Okay, not preferably Screamer, but any buffer will do. So, which, you know, actually anybody that can buff attack... You can actually put here even, um, what do you call this? Rita, because Rita is a buffer as well. Plus, Rita is a DPS. So, again, this is your 3 DPS and 1 buffer team. This one, this team, is not for all content. This is going to be for farming credit because you'll be needing to deal as much damage in little amount of time okay that is why it's it's pure offense with a buffer um this is going to be four dps basically but you can run this with three dps and a buffer preferably buffing their damage output so that's one team the next team is you're gonna have one tank okay let's uh put uh her here so one tank, you can actually do this lineup. Ugh, can't. Movie Luya. Uh, the other one is either healer or buffer. Healer or buffer. Uh, okay. So let's do a healer for this one. Let's do Nuno. Nuno is in the house. So this is the second team. Uh, basically 2 DPS 1 tank and 1 healer the DPS by the way guys can be 2 range DPS so if you don't want to have a frontline person you can do 2 DPS at the back and 1 tank and 1 healer or a buffer or the healer buffer combined but this is usually going to be a healer so th this is your second team so again your dps is either a range one or a melee one up front okay so next one is actually similar similar to similar to the time trial or farming credit um except that uh, let's say for example we don't have her we have somebody at the back shooting. Where is Siamcom? Okay, so let's put Siamcom here. Okay, so this one is basically your siege team. The reason for a siege team is that if your enemy has kind of a ring, a ring around it, and it deals constant damage to you, and your tank can absorb that damage you can leave all your dps at the back you cannot go towards or you know tackle that enemy because that area it has damage over time 
So you can use the siege team. Basically, the idea is they will be sieging the enemy from the back so that you can you, you won't get hit by that ring of damage over time. Preferably, the tank should be a strong element against the enemy so that the tank takes less damage. And that's it. That is your siege team. All damage just going over the tank and dealing damage to it's usually a boss it's usually a boss so that is your third team the other team um okay just to be clear this is for elemental advantage so as much as possible your elemental if you don't have enough heroes that have an elemental advantage you can actually use this as well what i mean is if most of your heroes are 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 going to be weaker than your enemy you could actually use this and pray that you know you could kill the enemy even without a stronger element okay again moving to the fourth one so we have one melee in front sorry so we have one melee in front so one tank one melee in front preferably um, somebody with high DPS, so Iluya or Surslet. Um, Iluya has a, a little trick up, up her sleeve because she can dash towards the back, which is nice. But you will need a healer and another DPS. No, no, you'll need a buffer. So you'll need two. So one DPS up front, one tank, one buffer. And one healer. Well, you can take again Rita. Rita buffs the attacks of or no, her teammates. So she counts as a buffer. But if you don't have Rita, again, you can go with debuffs from Screamer. So again, it's an option for you depending on the heroes that you have. So this is option four. The other one, which I had a question a while ago is the fifth lineup for pve this will entail you using where is armand ah here she is two tanks up front one dps and one healer this one is a very defensive lineup you can actually tweak this a bit in the future you could put gildan and um, caesar here and take out the healer because uh because caesar has healing as aoe heals so take out caesar put them here then also you can actually put a dps at the back so it's an option this is actually a deep more defensive lineup so if but if you want to tweak the defensive lineup with another offensive person this one the the second um tank should be caesar but for this defensive lineup to work this is going to be it so two um one healer two tanks and one dps this one is used if uh really you're overpowered and if you want to clear the stage your problem here is going to be time so every stage is time but again if your tanks have enough damage then this will do the job okay so moving next to your pvp lineups this is more of a specific lineups based on position not on the character so first lineup is you're gonna have an assassin you're gonna have a this is for pvp guys take note this is no longer for pve so the pvp lineup so one assassin one tank and two range so range either a ranger or a caster would do and the last one is a healer okay so two range at the back one could be a healer other one could be another range um hero without healing but the front would be an assassin and a tank so this is a good composition for pvp especially if you're going after the back line Eluya can actually move through the front defenses and go at the back while these two can strip down 
the enemy tank in front of them. Also, again, your hero can be swapped out for a more formidable DPS or range. Okay, so next up, the next lineup for PvP is going to be a single tank plus single tank to single target range. So single target. So you need to have two single target range heroes. So Rita is single target. Um, Media is also single, tar single target, but she has AoE in, in her damage. But she qualifies more for single target. Then you have your healer there in front. This is a nice lineup for PvP because what it this does is this ignores the back and it concentrates on the front tank or whoever is in front and these two will crack them like an egg then go through and plow through the back so this is the other lineup for pvp and the last uh, last one is a siege type the siege type is has a lot of aoe so uh you will need more aoe damage siamkom no he's not a siege type so what i'm saying is you need range that has AOE that can reach the back. So for your siege type, you will need AOEs. Let's say, for example, range that has AOEs. You can actually have two only. The other one could be a single target damage dealer DPS or a healer. Again. So this is it. Because this one is more of a siege taking care of the back. We usually assume that there are a lot of rear um, heroes, usually for PvP, than front. Because most of the firepower comes from the back. So this one will take care of that. So you have Glowar here, you have Fen for massive AoE damage at the back. You have your healer here for the front. You can actually, again, swap this out with more DPS. Let's say, for example, if you want media then there you go okay if you want a bit of control then you put in uh live so that is it um those are the lineups that i have so the first part was for pve the second three the last part was for pvp so hopefully this helped you guys and probably give you some tips on how to build your lineup now that we have limited heroes in the future, we will have more advanced team comms specific to heroes already. And I'm sure everybody's not ready for that yet. So I'll create a video on that in the future. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.